hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is shia so today i will be doing a product review of this dual capacity air fryer called sur la table i already made an unboxing video for this product so if you're interested in watching that i will just link the video up here for you so you can click on it and watch it so i would first show you guys how this product works and thereafter we will be going straight into reviewing the product as extensively as I can hoping that I can cover all the bases as much as possible okay so let's get right into it so very quickly I just want you guys to see how big this air fryer is just so that you can have an idea of what the size is um, physically so if you're um, struggling for worktop space in your kitchen then this might not be an ideal um, size for you because it is it, it is really a big one now moving on quickly to how it works so once you plug it in it makes that sound this air fryer has touch screen control buttons once you turn it on like that all the buttons come on very briefly and then just the power button stays on and then you click on that to turn it on and then you can see all the other control buttons light up as well um, and then blinking is just the temperature and the time for both the right and the left side as well as the air fryer there's a shake feature, a feature and a dual cook that's also um, blinking I'm going to talk about those in a bit so this air fryer has eight features as you can see right here so it's it's an air fryer it roasts it broils it bakes um it reheats um dehydrates keeps warm and then you've got the french fries feature on it as well now you've got the right side button and you've got the left side button right here and this is a temperature button temperature control button as well as the time control button which works for both the right and the left side depending on which one you're using this one is the start or stop button this is the sync button if you want to use both air fryers at the same time there's a shake button it comes on kind of like to remind you to shake or to turn whatever it is you're um, cooking in the air fryer so it comes on um, at about three quarters of the time of the of the cooking and then it just comes on and it kind of like blinks like that to remind you to shake or to turn over whatever it is you're cooking and then you can decide to turn it off or not so if you don't want it to come on at all you can turn it off and then of course dual cook if you don't need that you can turn that off as well so let me talk about the baskets very quickly these containers are what's called the air fryer baskets and i thought it was such a nice idea for them to put the letter r and l inscriptions on both the handles of the baskets which makes it really easy for you to slot in the right baskets into the right space if you put the right basket in the wrong space it wouldn't even work but i personally just thought that was such a nice idea it's just to save everyone of you know unnecessary stress <laughs> So I'll start by showing you the basic use of this air fryer using one of the baskets and one of the features. So this time around we'll be using the right side basket and the french fries feature. So firstly you want to pour your french fries into the basket and slot it back in. And then because we're using the right side you want to click on the R button and then you'd click on the french fries button as you can see that shake button is blinking and this is a time that you can click on it to turn it off if you don't want to be reminded to shake your food in the middle of cooking there is a set temperature and time for each individual features on this air fryer but those buttons are there for you to increase the time or reduce the time as well as reduce the temperature if you would like um, for the french fry the temperature is set at 200 degrees and so you can't increase it but you can reduce it if you want to so anyway once you're happy with the settings the time the temperature then you can click on the start button So about three quarter way through cooking, you hear that beeping sound and the shake button starts blinking as well. And this is just to remind you to turn around what you're cooking or shake what you're cooking or whatnot. And so you can just pull the basket out, shake it or turn it over and then put it back in 
and continue cooking. Once the time is up, um, it, there's another 20 seconds or so that allows the machine to cool down and then it makes a beep to tell you that your cooking is done. So basically that's how it works. You know, it's, it's actually quite easy to um, operate, it's easy to understand and it's clearly explained on the manual as well. So I'll now be showing you how to use the dual cook feature of this machine. Okay, I already have the chickens prepared and um, I've placed them in the baskets, both the left and the right ones, as you can see. So what you want to do again is you want to turn on the machine and then click on the feature you're going to use. In this case, we're using the roast and then click on the dual cook button as well. And then you play and it's as simple as that. You have the right and the left side working at the same time. And this is the finished products they finished at the same time they're both properly cooked evenly cooked and you know juicy and nice <laughs> and that's pretty much how you use the dual cook and finally I will show you how to use the sink feature of this machine I've got chicken that needs to be air fried on the left side and I've got fries on the right side um, both need different functions so once you turn on the machine we'll start with the left side um, the air frying feature is already on and this is me just increasing the timing and then you click on the right button and then you want to click on the feature you want which is a french fry um, as well and then click on the sync button and press play so what happens is that the one with the highest time or the higher time starts to work before the other one as you can see so the right side which is a french fry is just it's just static and then the left side is working i started working and then once the left side time gets to the same time as the right side then the right side starts to work and you know which then makes them finish together at the same time so that's really how the sync feature works Yeah, and so the food is all done. You can see the chicken looking nice and crispy and yummy, if I do say so myself. Um, and also you can see the fries are well um, cooked as well. So this is basically how you use the sink function of this machine. So these are some of the things that I've made with this air fryer, pardon the video quality of some of them um, and I'm just going to be talking about quickly what I like about the air fryer. So I like the fact that it's um, dual capacity in the first place, even though it's big, I still like the fact that it's dual capacity just so that, you know, if I want to make french fries and chicken nuggets on the side, it's easy for me to just put both of them in at the same time and you know the dual the sink function works such that they are both ready at, they are both ready at the same time and you know that saves some extra time in doing it first and then doing it again um if that makes sense so i like that about it i also like the fact that it has a lot of different functions so i like the versatility of that in the sense that i don't have to use just the air frying function for everything that i want to do so i there's a different baking setting there's a different french fry setting there's a different um air frying setting as and so on and so forth so i like the um, versatility of that so some of the things that I did, like this um, sweet potato, for instance, that I did um, got burnt because I think the timing was too long. So, you know, for next time, I know to reduce the time. But most of the other things that I've done, almost 95 percent of the things that I've done with this air fryer has come out really nice and um, texture wise, you know, taste wise as well. So whatever this air fryer cooks somehow just turns out better than, you know, some of the ones I cook in the oven sometimes. So yeah. And I also like the fact that it washes well, so you don't need to scrub it at all. Just put water and put the, the, 
detergent and use your sponge the softness of sponge i think would be able to wash this air fryer properly so i like that fact as well so i have talked about the pros let me talk about the cons very quickly i don't have a lot of it i have just two of them and it will be the size and the noise that this machine makes like i already showed you how big it is so if you don't have space then you know you'll be struggling to find where to put it so the other thing is the noise that this machine makes it beeps really loudly it beeps at every touch of any buttons <laughs> of every button and it also beeps really loudly when it tells you to shake and when it tells you you know when it wants to tell you that it's as finished working so it's a, obviously a personal disadvantage for me my oven washing machine dishwasher doesn't beep as loudly as this um, <laughs> machine beeps you can listen to this yourself <laughs> anyway you get the picture i just i don't i don't really like that so these are my personal pros and cons for this sora latab air fryer based on how long i've used it and what i've used it for um, and i hope it's useful to anyone that is watching um in helping you decide whether or not you want to get this air fryer maybe i will do another video short video on how the air fryer looks months and months after using it for a while um, but for now this is what i have for you and i hope it's been helpful do let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below or if you have any comments have you used this air fryer do you like it what are your comments as well um, and let me know all of that in the comment section below hope you've enjoyed watching this if you have please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe i will see you in the next video but till then stay safe and be good take care bye